So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hook up this Glow Shift brand fuel gauge. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do when trying to hook up this fuel gauge is you're going to need to know how many ohms your fuel sending unit actually sends to the gauge. In my case, it's 0 to 90 ohms. This is a 15 gallon fuel cell. Now, let's say that you don't know how many ohms that your fuel sending unit is actually sending to the gauge. Well, you got two possibilities here. One is that you're either really screwed or two. It just so happens that these little gauges have a little switch right down here, right down there where my thumb's at. There's a bunch of numbers in there. And if you look at your instructions, it'll tell you how to set that up. Now you may have to change that number, move that little dial around several different times until you finally get a reading. Assuming that you actually wire this thing up properly. So, this little plug goes into the back of it. Now you've got all these different color-coded wires. So, according to the instructions, the yellow and the red are essentially supposed to go to your positive power source. Now, seeing as how I don't have an ignition switch, Let's see, the red one is supposed to go to your ignition switch, which essentially is what my battery cutoff is for. I have my junction blocks, my negative and my positive, because I have a remotely mounted battery. So I'm just going to run the two of these into my positive. The black wire is going to go to the negative. The orange wire is going to come down here to the switch that I've designated for my headlights. And the final wire, the green wire, is going to be going to my fuel sending unit. Now I have two wires coming out of my fuel sending unit. And the manufacturer has designated to me that the yellow or white wire, in this case yellow and white, this is my power wire, the signal wire, which is going to go to the green wire on the gauge. The green wire is going to be going to the negative. Now, in the instructions, it says to use 18 gauge wire, which is what I've got here. The only problem is, I suspect this is going to be too big and might even throw off the reading of my gauge because the wire that they include in their little switch on the, uh, the little plug for the back of the gauge, look at the size difference. So I suspect this is like 22, maybe even 24 gauge. I haven't bothered to read the wiring, but anyway, uh, I'm wondering if that's going to be throwing my reading off by any chance. The instructions say to use 18 gauge, so we're going to use 18 gauge, but uh, it's got me worried that this is not 18 gauge. So we'll see what happens. So to go over this just one more time, the green is the ground. I'm hooking that into the negative, which is my junction block here. The white yellow wire is my signal wire and that is being hooked up to the green wire coming out of the back here. And again for the record I have my orange wire going to my headlight switch. The red and yellow are tied together going to the positive. Battery on now. Jesus. Well, I got like an eighth of a tank. Damn. It's supposed to be a color change. It's got this little button here. And you hold it in, it goes red for a second. And you let it out. Now what happens if I turn the battery off? That's on purple. Does it stay purple? Or does it go back to blue? Now, it resets every time you turn it off. Of course, that's probably why they want you to hook one of the wires up. Well, that must be the color change option. That must be why they want you to hook one of the wires up to a constant power source. That way it doesn't lose its memory. But hey, it's working, so as long as you hook it up the way that I've hooked it up... So, we know that it works. Now what happens if we hit the headlight switch? Nothing. 
just dims. That's all it does. You don't really get a sense of the color looking at it on the video. That's kind of a light blue. Oh, that's a slow fade. Instead of just changing from one color to another, it slowly fades into them. I think I like that one better. Anyway, hope this has been educational for you, and if you come across any of these gauges, decide you want to put one in, well now you know how to do it.